All this month, get any smartphone 32 gig and under for 50% off regular price at Appalachian Wireless. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. While supplies last, two-year agreement required. Teams from across the state have been vying for this moment the entire season as they take the next step in the postseason, continuing their journey to state. In the first game of the 2017 Girls 15th Region Basketball Tournament, it's the Pike Central Hawks and the Betsy Lane Lady Cats. The ball is tipped to Pike Central, and straight out the gate, Cassidy Mullins lays it in. A short-lived lead, though. Betsy Lane able to put up multiple points in the first half inside to Destiny Compton, and she dodges defenders, and the basket is good. Bobcats on a roll. Caitlin Kidd gets in on the action, and the Hawks struggling to find their groove, but Kylie Stanley putting up some points keeps them alive in this one. But the Bobcats continue to move up and down the court. Megan Frazier straight to the hoop, and the Bobcats lead 29-17 to heading into halftime. Pike Central obviously has some making up to do. Coming out of halftime with a newfound attitude, Cassidy Mullins intercepting a pass, and she takes it straight to the hoop. Baskets on baskets in the second half for Pike Central. The Hawks' Bailey Birchfield gets it on the action as the Hawks triumphantly battle their way back to the top to pick up the round one win. Final score, Pike Central 57, Betsy Lane 50. In the nightcap from the Expo, the 57th District Champions, Johnson Central matched up with the 59th District runner-up, the Pikeville Panthers. These two teams have met twice this year with the Golden Eagles, getting the best of the Panthers both times. Good ball movement here for Pikeville. Rachel Blackburn finds Leslie Stewart inside, and she gets the basket and also draws the foul. Panthers moving offensively back to Blackburn to Savannah Nunemaker from the top of the key. She drains the three-point basket. Now Johnson Central looking to make some moves. Stolen inbound pass. Ashley Belcher charging her way down court. And the Eagles score. And then on the opposite end, Alexia Wilkerson for Pikeville. Drives hard to the basket. Draws contact, but she makes it. Eagles back and forth. Hannah Fitch on the inside. She gets the basket, and there's another foul. Lots of foul shots in this one, and fans got some free basketball from the Expo. 